and other than that i think the goal was to uh, help you guys become better at computer science uh, hopefully a bit of that has happened a bit more will happen uh, just make sure you know when you go back you still are working on projects you still are working on uh, what has been taught here because if you stop now no matter what jo ek mahine ka yahan pe aapne bhi learning kari hogi it will go all go in vain i don't know if you guys know him from before but he was one of our first referrals that we made uh, a few months ago and he and abhi were the two people who got uh, referred at his company now i think there are five people who work there you know you just need like 6 to 8 months of very you know deep work very deep focus and you know i think it's it's not very far i know it's 24 25 and you know you hear everyone complaining about the jobs the market you know how unstable it is right now but honestly you know as someone from past mentioned there is like very few people at the top so even if you start late you put in consistent effort for some period of time for let's say you have one last year right so if you put consistent effort for the remaining one year trust me you can land a very good job 8 atlp anything can happen it all depends on your effort and whatever you do Hello everyone. Are you guys having a fun last day? Yes. Okay. I think we're very happy to see Kerala culture uh, and you know, so first time I'm eating food like this. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. And tonight we'll introduce you to the Punjabi culture. <laughs> so be ready. Your Hope you guys don't beat us when we <laughs> <laughs> So, so we have a night planned, uh, a bunch of things. Before that, I think I'll just keep this as a concluding speech for everyone. We have hopefully learned a few things, but we have a few more months to go. Uh, I and if you guys want more people, can also fly fly to Kerala from time to time. We'll keep meeting later. Um, the goal was today. I wanted to make sure you meet everyone. There are a lot of new people that have come. A few super thirty people that have come. Most of them are your age only. What's your average age, Abhi, uh, in the batch? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Ah, uh, I think. probably everyone here is the same age or uh, slightly lesser so i think there's a lot to learn from their experiences very high level very 2 minutes we'll keep it you know very light uh, and then we will move on to a bunch of games and a bunch of other things theek hai uh, i'll start off with my small speech 2 minutes i think it was a lot of fun talking to you guys i've never interacted with south people uh, <laughs> north people aren't as uh, whatever <laughs> so it was a lot of fun uh, i think uh, you guys are very warm and hopefully you guys have had a lot of fun here and especially today what you guys said is like i think the team uh, appreciates it a lot uh, so thank you for putting in the effort and and other than that i think the goal was to uh, help you guys become better at computer science uh, hopefully a bit of that has happened a bit more will happen um, i'm in talks with chiku sir i think five of you are going to probably stay back for super 30 uh, and honestly you guys can keep coming in and out we don't the campus has a bunch of empty rooms now um, so we don't have to pay for the hotel anymore uh, <laughs> and hence you guys can come i mean just let us know whenever you want fly in fly out uh, if you feel like you know there's something to learn here if your campus is free uh, if your exams aren't there if chiku sir is okay with it uh, we are totally open to having you here there'll be more people that come uh, you know smarter people that come again your age people that come so if you stay in this community i think you'll the, you have the one last year then everything disperses you you'll go on to do your jobs uh, things become very uh, hazy after that like after you leave your college you should definitely have a lot of fun which i have no doubt you guys are uh, 
But other than that, uh, just make sure you're grabbing that first offer, second offer, so that your final year is very chill. The next six months, if you crack an offer, the last six months, you can do a lot of things. Uh, so try your best to get a campus offer, on-campus offer as quickly as possible. Whatever your goals are, could be 8LP, could be ATLP. Uh, but whatever that goal is, reach that quick and then, you know, have fun in your final year. Uh, and then after that, your actual journey begins. That's all I had. Uh, with that, I'll head it over to uh, Samir. Samir is the co-founder at 100 School. Uh, I think it's his vision that we've been able to do this. Uh, and, you know, he was the one who was interacting with Chico Sir initially. Uh, so he'll share what, and he's also like a, he has, he's a businessman. He has a bunch of other businesses. He has a tech team of around 20 people and a general team of around 300 people here in Noida. He understands business well and hiring well. So he'll talk through what you should focus on maybe uh, if you want to, you know, be hired for the next six months, one year, six years, 30 years. Yeah. So I'm the guy who collects your fee. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, jokes aside, uh, so basically, you know, it is very, I would say, I would say forward looking on your uh, faculty's part and, you know, your administration's part that they were able to accommodate, uh, you know, this sort of a thing to happen. So, although they are not here, I think, but a uh, round of applause for them as well, because I have not been personally from a very good college, uh, although like I'm sure like your college has been quite fulfilling, you know, and uh, but my college was not good and uh, my college, you know, was not able to let's say make such a thing happen. So I think it is brave on their part that they are sort of investing in you to get good jobs. And I hope your one month here was very uh, fulfilling and, you know, you ended up learning something. Uh, just make sure you know when you go back you still are working on projects you still are working on uh, what has been taught here because if you stop now no matter what you know learning it will all go in vain so my only advice would be ki, haan, keep working hard even if you go home you know just keep working on the projects and uh, the mentors are still there uh, and we have already you know paid for the entire thing so make sure that you know your online interaction hai, wo, you keep it uh, to the maximum that you can other than that, all the best, you know, go out and uh, reach. And all of you, you know, should, should make a LinkedIn profile if you don't have one by now. Uh, make sure you put in all your projects because uh, even though, even if you would have worked hard, it is very hard for a recruiter to understand what all you have made till the time you put it there. So make sure you work as hard on documenting it. Somebody who is good, you know, unko aisa lagega yaar ki, because I've done all this, I need not put in that much effort into, let's say, presenting it, uh, you know, to a recruiter. But a recruiter doesn't know you. They don't know how you good you are. So at times what happens is koi ek medium, you know, level ka bacha bhi higher package crack ka lega just because they are good at presenting themselves, just because they are good at speaking. So even apart from, you know, let's say the coding skills that you were able to gather here, my one advice would be uh, get better at presenting uh, what you all have learned. Rest, you know, all the best. And uh, we meet on the other end of your college journey, probably. Uh, I'm there on LinkedIn. You know, if any of you is looking for a job, you know, feel free to reach out and apply. Okay. Thank you, guys. Now you have a bunch of people who were almost in the same position as you six months ago when we started the first Super 30. Almost all, if not all of the faculty that you see are people who were part of the past Super 30, got a jo job and then, you know, moved to Noida uh, to become part-time faculties or I would, I would say full-time faculties over here. Dipain unfortunately left. He had something to do in Nepal. <laughs> But we have uh, everyone else, so one after one, I think they'll share their journey. They'll share how they, uh, you know, were able to leverage Super 30 well, uh, what kind of jobs they got. Some of them got laid off and then immediately got another referral. And they were almost in the same position as you, uh, like around a year ago when we started Super 30. Um, and you know, in a year, they've grown a lot and now have, you know, sort of two jobs. They're also faculty here, also have a good full-time remote job, um, which is a good sort of, a, you know, end outcome at the age of 20 to 23. Uh, so with that, I'll keep handing over. We'll start with Akash. I think I covered most of the things that I wanted to cover, you know, in my podcast with her, Kirat. But one thing I would, you know, like to mention is that I started like very later than you guys did. I think I started even after like six months after graduating. So, you know, the thing to note down here is that you guys can, you know, start late. You know, you just need like six to eight months of very, you know, deep work, very deep focus. And, you know, I think it's, it's not very far. I know it's... Um, it's 24, 25 and you know you hear everyone complaining about the jobs the market you know how unstable it is right now but honestly uh, you know as someone from past mentioned there is like very few people at the top and if you you know keep uh, being consistent work enough for six months six to eight months i think you know you'll be standing with us you know it's it's not very far honestly that's that's all you need 
I think that's all I wanted to say. Very short. We'll hand it over to Dhruv sir, who uh, who's probably going to be your primary POC for DSA. And as you know, in your college, most probably they're going to ask you DSA. Uh, so I think he's written a speech or something. Over to you, sir. No. <laughs> okay. First of all, thank you so much, everyone, for the great food and service. Thank you so much. Really liked it. So I hope you guys had a great time over the past few months. I think for the past few weeks, right? So I think you're here since last four weeks? Yes. Yes. So we did DSA only for one week, right? So everyone told me that you already know DSA. So now what do you feel? <laughs> so I hope everyone was able to learn some new concepts, like the way I teached. Yes? Hmm. No? <laughs> okay. Okay. So I see that a lot of you guys have this feeling that uh, this started very late, right? I started very late. So same thing happened with me that I started in my second year of college. I didn't do any coding in first year of college. From there, I went to become the one of the highest programmer in our, in our country. Right? So, even if you start late, you put in consistent effort for some period of time. For let's say you have one last year, right? So, if you put consistent effort for the remaining one year, trust me, you can land a very good job. Eight, eight TLP, anything can happen. It all depends on your effort and whatever you do. Yes? So, I'll be coming to Kerala in the next few weeks. So, hope to see everyone there and we'll learn more DSA. Chalo. Thank you so much, everyone. All the best. Next up we'll have Sargam. Uh, Sargam just joined us like two days ago. I don't know if you guys know him from before, but he was one of our first referrals that we made uh, a few months ago. And he and Abhi were the two people who got uh, referred at his company. Now I think there are five people who work there. And <laughs> slowly, uh, slowly I think some of Abhi moved to the US yesterday. He had his flight to the US yesterday. Uh, you met him, right? Abhi came beats me, who got an O1. They work in the same company. He's been working there for two years now. He'll also work here as a faculty. So uh, your journey, advice that you have. Yeah, um, thank you for everything. Uh, the food was like really good, even though it was like really different, but it was good, yeah. So I think there are like two things that I wanted to share with you, which might be relatable. First thing is how I joined, how I came to here. I, have, I almost become favorite person whom Harkirat would refer to. No, if there was something going down, then he would tell, oh, Sargam, why is it down, right? So how I became that person. And next thing is uh, my general thoughts about like, you know, general programming so first thing is how i got here is i i'm not like like everyone i started coding whenever i was in like grade 11 12 but at that time i didn't have like any motivation i was just like you know mostly focusing on like interesting things so i used to use linux uh, rice arch linux if you know about that uh, you know i have like high scores on monkey type learn about like general python make uh, telegram bots discord bot and all that kind of stuff but whenever i came to college i knew there was a thing called as web development but i was really discouraged by my college mainly because uh, everyone says like tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 I did not know that thing existed but when I come to college that was the reality that was the ground reality was not everyone was trying to work hard they didn't want like you know my college was like I think uh, really expensive one so most of the people who came there was they had a very stable family business so they just had to come there to do engineering after that they would do something on their own so they didn't have like any pressure of doing job or any any interest in programming so that was one problem that I had and how I faced that was uh, I used to follow Harkirat. I followed him whenever he uploaded how to create a LinkedIn bot to accept all of the connections. So I, I found like that that approach was like really interesting. He deployed it to EC2 and I guess like I after a few days that went down right. So that made me curious because why other people were not doing something like this right. Then like uh, yeah that, that 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 happened and I found like this person like you know you, if, if I were to follow someone I think he is really curious and I will do anything to you know follow him. So what happened was he launched cohort then like he launched a lot of open source repositories so my goal was there to you know whenever an issue comes i'll be like you know some kind of ai agent that will completely finish that issue and get in more as soon as possible so we met uh, i first met harkirat on 2024 13th of march on bangalore meetup and uh, at that time like it was like really emotional person because he was the person whom i look up to and uh, we did have like a small talk and i think i honored you a lot and right after after I think two days or so, like he messaged me, Ankur messaged me, asked me my number and he messaged me whether I was looking for a job or not and yeah, like things happened and after one month I was referred to uh, drop station, now station and now I think something else and uh, then to like then after that like I, uh, I like started working there and apart from that I think like we had like a lot of
of conversation regarding that. I also asked him, can I like, you know, monitor those repositories that he was maintaining, um, he was like maintaining. So that happened and over time, like I helped him there and I came here to Delhi Meetup. Then I think we talked about Super 30 and then I came to Super 30 and now to college. So it has been like an you know, ex exceptional series of events that happened that led me to here. And second thing that I want to talk about uh, is my general th uh, thoughts on programming. Programming is some kind of ikagi, as they say, that is like you love to do, other people love to pay for it, and you know, not a lot of people do that. So general understanding is that you need to have like a proper passion regarding it. So why are you doing this, right? You are not doing this for money or that. You have like a genuine interest and you know, a lot of people are interested to pay you on, on behalf of that. And uh, that is one thing. Another thing is, uh, you know, Stapes have said, uh, the only way to do great work is to do what you love. So uh, programming should some, uh, be something, programming, coding, whatever it is. It should be something that you should love from the bottom of your heart. And you know, you like to think about stuff like, uh, if you have thought or not, uh, how does the Mac screen scales to this resolution, right? Think about that. So small, small things, nuances. Like whenever I speak there, like all of those speakers, they sync properly, right? Instead of like, you know, that one firing first and that one firing second, think about those things and like that will make us more curious and all. So another suggestion is to be curious and find what you love in programming. There are a lot of fields. There is AI, ML, there is Web3, Web2, DevOps and whatnot, right? And maybe like you can build your own thing. like. Uh, you know, you, anything that you can build and someone would love to pay would be your ikagi and that's all, that's all from my side.